How can I make extending love be my primary identity and experience rather than reaching with fear and judgment that has been my main experience for so many years? By coming to terms with there's nothing to lose and putting yourself here, all of humanity here, putting a figure eight between all of you. This is the part that many get confused about because the figure eight actually looks like this. You're standing here. The whole world is here. Through this, the only thing that's able to even permeate this part is love. Are these dear ones doing the best they can with what they have? Absolutely. Are, are these dear ones doing exactly what they were taught to do when they were taught to do it? Absolutely. But are these dear ones also waking up, starting to get their own attention through many, many, many billions of different ways? They're being steered here, they're being steered here, being steered here, they're being blocked here and then steered over here to get their own attention. There's not one dear brother on this planet that's not waking up. Even Roberta's mom's waking up. It's a shocker, isn't it? It's just a matter of how much love we can embrace and surround them with. So let's forgive the thoughts, but also look at, hmm, with all of this going on, what is there for me to protect? It's impossible for you to be overtaken by the fear, anxiety, and all the emotional gamuts that are playing out in the world right now. So. As we stop here, we really contemplate for a second. What is there really for me to protect? We can protect, or at least attempt to, an ego, a personality, we can protect all of that, right? Or at least the attempts of it. We can protect perceptions. But why are we protecting that? Your body doesn't need protecting. It knows what it's doing. Your higher levels, your cradle levels, your manifest levels are walking you through to show you how far you've come. But at the same time, wow, it's bringing dear ones right around you into your live stream and letting yourself play with, explore, come to terms with, help me to love and not to judge, to just honor them, accept them as who they are, as where they are at. And then from there, tuning in right here, right here, right here, to start to see that brilliant and glow, that beautiful hue that surrounds each and every one. And let's, I want to show you how. So right now, let's just hold our hand up. This is actually the perfect lighting because it's a little bit dim. Let's just focus right here. Letting our eyes go out of focus. which in turn is freeing you from density, setting our eyes go out of focus so we can start to see that little web of light coming around your hand, specifically right here. Let's even bring our fingers in and out, in and out, to really let ourselves have no doubt about it. Even between our other fingers, and then even looking right here on the side of your hand. 
Alright, big guns. Higher levels, take command. Show me more. All the way to the side of your arm. Right through here. Setting your eyes, maintain being out of focus. Letting that beautiful hue begin to show. Letting it open and expose itself. And now, even looking at our feet, or even looking in the mirror at the sides of your head, or shall I say your body's head, watching that beautiful hue glow and grow, all the way through the shoulders, the torso, the legs if you want with a full length mirror, keeping the eyes out of focus. The eyes out of focus is opening you up, and what we're doing right now is opening you up dimensionally to be able to open, flourish, and to start seeing so much more for what it is. Then, all right, huh. higher levels take command. I ask for my own presence to grow further out to where now we can see and we can feel it this far out. Now, when we're looking at these other dear ones, what if we just look right over their shoulder? And letting our eyes go out of focus, just skip the words that they're saying for a second from their mind. Let's just look right over their shoulder. And as we're looking right over their shoulder, let's just ask to be shown their, their presence. Because they do, they do have a presence, believe it or not. Okay, regardless of how conflicted they are, regardless of how overbearing they are. It, it doesn't really matter what their conflicts are. Let's look over their shoulders here. Here, over here, over here. Matter of fact, the whole group level. When you hold the earth right here, let your, eye, let your eyes go out of focus. Let's see the beautiful hue of the whole planet. As a live deity that it is, let's just let it open and open and open. And I do encourage you to hold the planet here because it really puts things in perspective. Traff, can you hand me the planet, please? <laughs> Travis has control issues, giving it up. <laughs> See, right now, as we hold the whole planet right here, let's light it up. <laughs> Did you see that hue? It was green. <laughs> <laughs> I bet I can. I bet I can make it red. <laughs> oh, I am magic! Mm -hmm. Look at that. Ooh, it's a red planet. Mars reincarnated. Okay, now from here. Let's just hold the whole planet there. Right in the palm of your hand. We could do it physically, non-physically, it doesn't really matter. Let's just hold the whole planet right there. And as we do, let's just light it up and light it up and light it up. And as we, light, as we light it up, look at the hue growing from it. I think I might have taken too much into it because here comes a rock. Talk about magic. Okay, now from here. You go, Roberta, here's your rock back. It's not slobbered, it's creator juice. Okay? Now from here. This right here is we hold the whole planet here in the palm of our hands. Look at how it starts to iridesce, iridate, the iridescence beaming from it. Now, as we're here holding all of this right here, 
you're becoming the whole universe right here, holding its beautiful realm and crush of creation and all the dear brothers on it. Really puts a lot into perspective, doesn't it? Because it makes you wonder, hmm, who cares who did the dishes? Who cares who gets a promotion? Who cares who gets cut off in traffic? Who cares, who cares, who cares? It really doesn't matter, does it? To where we get to a point where there's only so much more love that we're holding right here in the palm of our hand that, wow, it just doesn't have that same impact or implementation of embodiment of protection or survival anymore. There's no ego in it. Let go of my ego. Goodbye. The planet, as we hear as an overview, we have no personality. So, wow, that's out of the picture. We're just looking as creator, overseeing its creation. The beautiful, majestic creation here. We Now we don't even have any perceptions. We have nothing to protect. Because all those other levels just died off. Now, the reason I bring the figure eight with the planet as well is that we don't want to embody uh, everything going on in the planet right now. The planet's outside of us. So now, wow, talk about really putting it in perspective even further. I'm going to put a figure eight right between myself and the planet. So all the transitioning that the planet's going through right now, I am not going to take in or take on. All the changes, even all the anger, rage is playing out right now. I'm not going to take on. I'm going to light up. Ah, so we can all take a breath. And now even starting to see the beautiful presence of it. All concerned. Because wow, isn't it astounding how all of it comes together, plays together, dances together. But yet, how you from an overview, in a physical view, in a physical vehicle, gets to expand exponentially, exponentially. We're not taking on the gunk playing out like this. We're not taking it in. We're emanating exponentially and also dissolving it. That's just going out and going out and going out and expanding out and expanding out. And yes, there's going to be pathways in your live stream. They're going to be steered right into these wonderful dear ones. Which is such a gift. Would it be a, wouldn't it be a bummer to have the whole planet just to yourself? You're here also, there's actually a blueprint in your body that says you require touch. So, wow, I'm going to come up and give these dear ones a beautiful embrace. I'm even going to point out how beautiful they are. I'm not going to make something funky up or anything. But I am going to share with them what a huge difference, what a beautiful gift they are. Now there's nothing to forgive because now you're expressing, expanding. We're not getting worked up by their action, words, and deeds. We're more so seeing right through all that. Those are just program after program of after programs dissolving their action, words, and deeds. Now we're looking through it all to see the truth of it. The truth is right here, right here, right here, and right here. The truth is also how all these beautiful hearts Right there in the red spot in the middle that are coming to light, lighting up, lighting up. Because as soon as we light them up, watch how quickly all their action, words, and deeds start to change. Not how we want them to change. It's not even have a want there. Because that's just trying to control the endeavor. If anything, let's light them up and watch everything around you metamorphosize. Even at times, at first, it'll seem as if a ruckus is going to break out. Great job. This is also where you're watching all the debris that's been swept under the metaphoric rug and embodied in dear one's physicalities start to burn away and break down. If you want, hold them in the most beautiful flame. Colors don't matter. But the most beautiful flame of purification, divinitization, but also to assist them. Let's not make it about a me. It's a gift of love that you're giving to them 
beyond our action words and deeds. So let's light them up in the palm of our hand. Let's turn up the notch to 948,000 megahertz per second, holding them right there. As we're still even looking over their shoulders, seeing the hue around them. Watch how it all starts to metamorphosize. And then rock and roll and a half and a blast. 